Just three weeks ago, Gala Games made a record-breaking NFT sale when they sold a Miranda's land deed, the Citadel of the Sun, for $800,000 in USDC. Now they've broken their own record by selling the Citadel of the Stars for $1.6 million. These Citadels are the largest land deeds for Gala Games' upcoming fantasy MMORPG game, Mirandus. There was initially five Citadels available. The Citadel of the Earth, Citadel of the Wind, Citadel of the Moon, Citadel of the Sun, and the Citadel of the Stars. These Citadels include a castle surrounded by a massive city. People made fun of Gala Games for initially giving the Citadels a list price of $500,000. There's no way anyone will buy one for that much. What a surprise then on January 4th, 2021, when Gala Games announced that they sold the Citadel of the Sun to Polyant Games for not $500,000, but $800,000. For the extra $300K, Polyant Games becomes the financial layer inside the game Mirandus. Their Polyant vaults will act as the banks in Mirandus and will connect with the Polyant decks, providing in-game DeFi. The first few Mirandus Polyant vaults were auctioned off with winning bids from 20 ETH, worth approximately $25,000 at the time of the sale, all the way up to 30.1 ETH, which was worth over $40,000 at the time of the sale. While the first Citadel was sold to a company, this $1.6 million sale of the Citadel of the Stars is different. Gala Games has said that this Citadel was not sold to a corporation, but to a single individual. For now, the individual NFT whale will remain anonymous until Monday, February 1st, when the transaction will be finalized and confirmed on the blockchain. However, the Citadel has already moved to a new wallet, causing many to speculate and explore the blockchain for clues as to the individual's identity. The most obvious thing people have noticed is that the wallet contains a Gala Games Express truck for the game Townstar. Since these were given out to Gala Gold members, there's speculation that the individual may be a longtime Gala Games player. Closer examination of the wallet seems to confirm that, as the first Gala transaction in the wallet was way back on September 15th, 2020. Others speculate that this is just a holding wallet and that the previous transactions mean nothing. What matters is the final transfer, which will occur on February 1st. Whoever this is, it's quite interesting to see an individual spending $1.6 million on an NFT. The $1.6 million price was set by Gala Games when it sold the previous Citadel. At that time, Gala stated that with each sale of a Citadel, the price of the remaining Citadels will double. This means that the next Citadel is currently priced at a whopping $3.2 million. When news of this $1.6 million sale just started to come out, the price of Gala token shot up 17% in the hours after the soft announcement on Gala's Discord server. As more becomes known on February 1st as official announcements come out and the news is more widely distributed, it should be interesting to see the effect on the price of Gala. You may be thinking, okay, that's cool, but what does this mean for me? I'm interested in Mirandas, but I'm certainly not going to spend millions on virtual land. Is there anything I can afford? The Mirandas land rush is clearly in full swing, with most of the more affordable land already sold out on the Mirandas store. Currently, the cheapest piece of land still available on the store is about $20,000. The low-level homesteads, all the way up to the ranching hamlets, are all sold out. However, many of these land deeds are available on the secondary market, OpenSea. In addition to land, there are still many buildings available for Mirandas, including some that have yet to be released. Gala Games was started by one of the founders of Zynga and some of the creative minds behind Farmville and Words with Friends. Their first game, Townstar, is the most fun town and farming game I've ever played. Gala Games runs weekly Townstar competitions, with cryptocurrency and sometimes NFTs going to those in the top 100. Personally, I think Townstar is the best game in the genre. But don't take my word for it. Click on the sign-up link in the description below. Play it for yourself and find out. With two record-breaking NFT sales, and probably more to come, Gala Games seems poised to do quite well in the future. One cool way to be a part of the future of the Gala Games ecosystem is by running a Gala Games node. 
The node will allow you to earn Gala cryptocurrency daily, as well as the chance at awesome NFTs for Townstar, Mirandas, and even more blockchain games in the future. While your node will not give you the next Citadel, some of the NFTs you could earn are already selling on the open market for up to thousands of dollars. Given that running your own node is a way to receive some of these NFTs, running a node has the potential to be quite lucrative. For more information about Gala Games Node, check out other videos on this channel. You can also find more information at galanodeguide.com. So, what do you think? How long do you think it will be before Gala Games breaks their record yet again with a $3.2 million NFT sale? What types of gameplay in Mirandus are you looking forward to? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.